Okay guys, the next plugin that we're going to install is called the share bar. And the share bar is going to add social media buttons to our posts and our pages. And I'll go over to Clint's money box to show you what it looks like. Um, and if you look to the right of my post, you'll see my share bar with the like button, the tweet button, and the Google Plus one. Um, this is a pretty new plugin for me, so I don't have any likes for this particular post yet. But uh, if you scroll down, you can see that the share bar will stay inside the window. And if you resize the window, you can see that the share bar will pop up to the uh, the title of the post. And and so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the share bar. So go back to your dashboard. And next we're going to go to the left hand sidebar and go down to plugins and click on add new plugin. And in search we're going to type share bar, all one word. And click on search plugins. And it should be the very first result. And this plugin was created by Manjuro Dolan. So click on install now and OK. And click on activate plugin. OK, once your plugin is activated, go to settings in the left hand sidebar and scroll down to share bar. And this is our share bar settings page. So if you scroll down, you can see the different icons that you can add to your share bar. Um, we need a Google Plus icon, and they don't have a Google Plus icon here, so we're going to have to add a new button. And the name of this button is going to be Google Plus. The position is 3, and check enabled. And if you look under this video, you'll find uh, code for the big button. Go ahead and paste that code here. And you'll also find code for the small button. Paste that code here and click on add button. Okay, and then once we uh, load the button, we can see that we now have a Google Plus button here. Um, and you'll see that some of these buttons are in white and some of these buttons are in gray. The white buttons are the buttons that are activated, so we want to deactivate the buttons that we do not want to use. So click the check boxes in the left uh, column and disable those icons that you don't want to use. And then click on update. Now we see that only Twitter is highlighted in white. So we're going to go down and we're going to find Facebook and Google Plus. We're going to check on both of those. Scroll all the way down and click on update. And now we need to put these in the correct order. I want Facebook to be on top, Twitter to be second, and Google to be third. So I need to move the Facebook like button up too. So I'm going to click up. And I'm going to click it up one more time. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look at our blog and see what we've got so far. Since our share bar will only show up when you're inside either a post or a page, we're going to have to click to go inside of one of these posts. Right now we're on the blog roll. And if you look to the left, you'll see my share bar over here next to the post. And now I'm going to reposition my share bar so it's outside of the paper over here. And it depends on your blog and what kind of a theme you have, but you can go ahead and position this um, 
a certain distance away from the post and you can also put it on the opposite side and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now so once we're in our share bar settings click on the settings button at the top and once we're here scroll down and make sure that all your check boxes match mine um, these should be the default settings and the only thing that you're probably going to need to change is the left offset or the right offset depending on uh, what side of um, your post the share bar is on so since mine is on the left side of the post I'm gonna change my left offset and you're just gonna have to play with this um, because every every theme is different so um, and then the share bar width I recommend giving your share bar a width of 70 you can also change the share bar background color I'm gonna leave mine the same and you can also change the share bar uh, border color. Uh, I'm going to leave both of those the same and click on update settings. Now when we go back to look at our post, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And now you can see that my share bar is on the left side of my post just outside the paper. So that's it for this lesson. Um, I will see you guys in the next lesson for the next plugin.